Welcome to Spring 2016 and to Sociology 408, Political Legal Sociology. I'm Dr. Walters, your course instructor. This is a new course and I'm very excited about teaching it and I'm very excited about working with you. I hope you share this enthusiasm and that you will provide feedback on a regular basis in terms of how the course is going for you and what how we might uh, sort of tinker with it and tailor it to suit student needs as we go. When you open the course, you will of course open to the announcement page. Please read through this carefully. It will give you a sense of how to get started in the course. The, the actual course material is active learning structured around diverse types of active learning assignments, reading, a discussion, wiki blog assignments that will help you uh, apply what you learn, civic engagement assignments that will require you to do something active. There are two of these and a final research project. You will in this course showcase your coursework on an ePortfolio. So to get started, first click on the course syllabus, open this, open and print off a copy of the syllabus. You will find the course calendar in the same folder. Course information replicates a great deal of the material that can be found in the syllabus, but scroll down the page and pay close attention to several key areas. The evaluation of student work is of course on your syllabus. You can quickly refer to it here and see exactly what you expect to do. There is a place or a forum on the discussion board that will allow you to provide feedback throughout the semester. If it turns out that we have too much work or too little work or not the right work, there will be ample opportunity for you to provide feedback and we will tweak as we go if necessary. At the bottom of the page, please be refer, refer to the discussion board grading rubric. The discussion forum in Sochwara 8 departs a little from our standard procedure in that the discussions will extend across two weeks. In the first week, you will post a reflection on the prompt that does not require you to have read the material. In other words, you're going to post your thoughts on the topic prior to doing the reading assignment. A second week of the same prompt will require you to now post a studied response to the initial prompt to reply to your classmates using the assigned reading and other materials from the course, integrating these to present a more studied response, also reflective, and to at the same time engage with your classmates. Please read the course policies carefully. These cover basic attendance, waking, week beginning on Monday, uh, ending on Friday with a, a um, grace period until 6 a.m. on Monday, how to contact me, policies regarding late work, but most importantly, academic integrity. In the first week of the course, we will practice our skills in locating and properly citing all reference material. This is crucial for your academic success. Please ask questions if you have them. Uh, again, we will review this and we will be expected to use this uh, material, use academic integrity, use ASA format throughout the course. For each week, there is a weekly assignment folder. Typically, there will be the learning goals on the exterior of the folder. And right inside the folder, at the top of the page, you will see an assignment to do. All of the weekly folders have exactly the same format. At the top, it will tell you exactly what you should be doing for the course. Here in the first week is our references assignment. And there are two discussion forums. 
the second one being the one that for which you will receive credit. And the first week, unlike other weeks, the discussion forum extends only one week. In the first week also, you'll be creating your ePortfolio. But typically, these assignments, each weekly folder will be structured the same way. There'll be readings, there'll be a discussion board, there'll be either a wiki or a blog assignment or something that requires you to actively engage with the material of the course and then to engage in discussion. There are four wiki blog assignments here. You see only the first wiki assignment. There are two others plus uh, a, a news blog. These are connected to weekly units. The first one is due at the end of the second week. A key goal in the course is the final paper. And the final paper assignment can be found inside this folder called Final Paper. The assignment itself is at the top of the page. The grading rubric is at, uh, the, on the second bullet. The ASA style guide is third. Second, then, then finally there's a section on note-taking, paraphrasing, and summarizing. The, the project is laid out in a schedule with specific pieces due throughout the semester. Please do these in a very timely fashion. It will save, it will give us time to engage around your topic, for me to provide feedback, for you to receive peer feedback, but also for you to connect these stages with other uh, material that you are reading or creating as part of the ongoing work for the course. You can also access the discussion board in this fashion. There's an Ask Your Professor forum and you'll note that there are uh, topics for each week. There'll be a link to these from inside the weekly folder. On the announcements page, uh, each week you will find uh, a, I will change the announcement, uh, let you know when the assignment folder for that week has been opened and what you'll be expected to do during that week. Please do not hesitate to contact me. Please do not hesitate to make suggestions on the discussion forum for the course or things that you would like to see covered. There'll be ample opportunity for active learning. And once again, I, I hope that you are as excited about the course as I am. I wish you the very best for this semester, and I very much look forward to working with you.